everybody. Um, I started this new group to kind of help um, for you to find videos easier because I know the main puppy gel group is quite quite large. So I'm going to do a tutorial video from start to finish my whole entire process. It's going to be a little bit lengthy because I'm going to do nail prep and I'm going to do application. So I'm going to start with my nail prep. My nails need to be cut and trimmed. I am doing a round shape nail. So I'm going to go ahead and cut in a round shape. I'm not going to cut straight across. So I did just actually nick my pointer here on accident, but that's okay. So this is just a very basic um, demo, I should say, just so you guys know where to go or know, have somewhere to go to see it. We plan to put a lot more demos in here for you guys to see. So again, I'm keeping a round shaped nail, so I'm not cutting straight across. I'm cutting them to keep, to make it easier to keep that shape when I file. Just a little bit at a time so I can keep them round overall round. Okay. So now I cut them, they look a little bit ragged. I'm gonna go ahead and file them. So what I like to do is use the edge of the table um, as a guide to keep my hand nice and steady. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna angle it up just in case because I can't see the camera. So I'm gonna start with my thumb. I'm gonna go in on the sidewalls. I'm not going to overdo it because it's too, it's not good for the nail if you are over filing. You're going to thin it over time and you don't want to do that. So I do want them to look thin, but I have wide nail beds so they can only go so thin if that makes sense, so narrow. So I just got to work what I was with what I was blessed with, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead, do the pointer. This one's a little bit, the shape's a little messed up on it because I nicked it trying to plug in the camera to make this video, but that's okay. We will fix it. Just gonna take a little extra. So again, this is a long tutorial video, but I'm gonna explain to you the whole entire process of Peppy. So if you're new, this is a really good place for you to start. There we go, got it fixed. Now we're gonna go over here. I got a little bit of product left from the last manicure on the nail bed, which is okay, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheat to get it off. Um, just, and I'll tell you why I did it when I get there. All right, so we're going in, making sure I'm keeping this nice, round shape. So I'm hoping this group will help. It's not a posting group. All it is is a place to just come and watch tutorials and that's it. You can do this on our YouTube as well, but I know like if you're already in the Facebook app, it's sometimes easier. So I'm just giving another alternative and also just a straight demo with no other confusion going on in, in our video. I know oftentimes we have like giveaways and all that other stuff, so. All right, so just really taking my time, keeping my shape nice and round how I want it. So the key is, is when you cut your nails or trim them, cut them in the shape that you're going for the best to, of your ability. Obviously you really can't because of the way the na nail clippers are made. Um, but just do the best that you can. So you can see, I went ahead, I got my shape fixed up 
nice and good. Um, what I'm going to do is after I put the product on, that's when I'll re-examine my nail shape and make sure that I'm happy with it and it looks like this hand over here. So your starter kit comes with a buffer block. This is all you really need to get started, um, but I am going to show you how to use both, um, a buffer block and a drill. But I am going to start with a drill. Um, just so I can show you some important information. So on the drill, I'm going to go nice and light on my nail. I'm not overdoing it. This is very soft. It doesn't hurt the nail bed by any means. But I'm not going to overdo it, okay? I'm just going to go nice and soft. But what I like is I can go all the way up to the cuticle without getting on it and really getting all that overgrowth on the nail off, keeping it clean, okay? It's a lot easier to do this than it is with the buffer, but you can use a cuticle remover or in, you know, use your cuticle pusher and scrape it off. It's totally fine and then buff your nails. Um, the only thing is if you use a cuticle remover, you have to be really careful um, because they leave a lot of oils and you don't want that oil to cause lifting on your nail bed so you would have to go back and use a soap like Dawn dish soap that really removes oil and take care of it. So I'm not going on my cuticle I'm going right in front of it and just removing the hairline or the overgrowth line. So here where that leftover product was, I didn't want to soak in acetone any longer than I had to. So I'm just buffing off that product right there to get it off. Okay, so nice and easy. Don't overdo it because you will thin your nails out over time. Just do enough to make the shine go away. That's the only important thing is just making sure the nails aren't so slick. Where the product is, I'm doing extra just on that spot. I got the drill angle just right. I'm getting it off. And that's why this comes in handy. And you can see my nails are getting nice and dry now. So now let me get up by the cuticle. And take it off. So if you can't hold your hand steady, Keep it on the table, keep it on the edge, back here, like whatever, whatever you need to do. Everything with Peppy is about patience. You gotta be patient. The whole process is very quick, but take your time. Enjoy a few minutes to yourself of quiet time and just really take your time so you get that perfect Peppy cure that you're looking for. All right, one last finger. So again, I'm not going too much. It sounds more than it is, but it's not. I'm just getting that shine off the nail bed. I'm taking my time. These are my natural nails, just in case if anybody's wondering. They are. By the time you guys see this, there'll be quite a few videos in here before we start telling everybody about the group. Really just wanna load it up with some tutorials. So now that I'm done with the drill, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a pretty roughed up part of the buffer because it's not as abrasive. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick over. So if you were buffing your nails, you would just use the buffer. like, And you can see it does the same exact job. So I'm just showing you real quick. I go really fast. I'm careful to not get on my cuticle because the buffer is abrasive. I don't want to nick it and then have a yucky like cut or something. Okay. So at this point you'll then take your cuticle pusher, which I don't have in front of me, but Peppy has a cuticle pusher and just push your cuticles back. What I'm using right now is called the Ask Contour Nail File. You can get this on QVC. It's pricey. It's like 20 bucks. 
you don't need it um, if you have the drill. If you don't have the drill, this is definitely awesome because it also helps get cuticle off the nail bed. And it's pushing them back at the same time. My mom actually got me this as a gift and I love it. They're really awesome. So you can use this or the cuticle pusher that comes in your deluxe kit or you can order it separate on our website. It's a really pretty one. It's like a marble, oil marble one. So basically it pushed all my cuticles back for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the big side here just to make sure. So what I'm doing is getting it off my nail, completely off my nails, very important um, that the cuticles are removed, pushing them back and it creates like a little wall right there. So it helps actually when you're trying to stop before your cuticle with the product and it prevents lifting. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump right into application. I'm gonna take whatever I have handy, happens to be this little brush, the end of it, and I'm gonna stir the powder to loosen it. What this is gonna do is make the powder nice and fluffy so when you dip it in, it's gonna lay nice and flat and even. All of the bottles are labeled on the front and back, so you have your numbers and um, what what the bottle is. So this is a shine. We're actually going to start with our number one, which is our ready. When you're using this product, you want to be very careful to just pull the brush straight in and out of the bottle. If you're wiping it on the neck or the rim, you're going to glue your lid shut. Okay? The reason being is number one is an adhesive. That's how we get the powder to stick to your nail. So if you're using it as an adhesive and you're not careful, you can get the lid stuck closed and it will be hard to open. So there's an inside wiper that really helps to take off the excess liquid so you can apply a nice thin amount of liquid onto your nail, which is really important if you want a nice thin smooth peppy cure. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first dip. We're not gonna go all the way to the cuticle line, but we're gonna go about 90% of the way up the nail. And this is not my dominant hand, so it's gonna take me a little bit longer than usual. And then you're gonna dip. And you can see it's a nice, smooth, even dip. That has to do with doing a thin amount of liquid and fluffing up the powder before I dipped it in. So again, we're starting spreading the liquid nice and thin and just taking our time. This product really requires you to take your time and to be focused, especially when we transition from step two to step three. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the next nail. Again, this is a longer tutorial because I'm starting or I did start from the beginning. Um, of nail prep to the whole application process. Okay. So it's looking good already. Take your time. Go nice and easy, thin layers, fluffy powder, thin, even dips, and it looks great. And by the way, the color I am using is Froze All Day. In the title of the video, I'll put in all the information that I think you guys might need. So this group, again, is just going to be tutorials and nothing else. It's going to be a very boring um, atmosphere, but it's really because we want you to learn how to use your product and get the most enjoyment out of it. 
So now that we've applied our first layer, again, stopping about 90% up the nail, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess powder. You can use any brush at home. The Peppy Duster comes in your starter kit, um, the deluxe starter kit, let me correct myself. And you can also purchase it individually on the website. But what you have to do in between each dip is wipe the excess powder off. Choo! Choo! Sorry, ladies. I have been fighting a cold for the last several days from this weather. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our second dip. Going nice and slow, I'm gonna spread the liquid and then I'm gonna fan the brush out, stopping a hairline before the cuticle. A hairline before the cuticle. The reason is, is if you get on the cuticle, you're gonna have a natural lift as your nails grow out. So to prevent that, you're gonna stop a hairline before the cuticle. As you can see, I don't put my brush instantly at the top. I put all the liquid on my nail first spread it out nice and even and then I pause and I fan my brush I slide it up just enough and it creates that perfect cuticle line without having to do too much work it has literally been a game changer for myself and for a lot of other babes because I mean we all want that perfect cuticle line and if you don't paint your nails often like it's really hard to do and that's literally the easiest trick for me um, to get it perfect. So we're going to go ahead. We're on our second dip still. I'm moving in. Really taking my time. There's no need to rush. We're doing this to enjoy ourselves, right? Give ourselves a few quiet moments. And we're going to go ahead and dip. So I'm going to go ahead and go in to the next nail. I will put this video on YouTube as well, um, just in case anybody's looking for it elsewhere. It will get buried over time, but this group is only going to be demos and it'll be easy to find. Okay, so we got one more second dip to do here on the thumb. Just really taking our time. Very important. Take your time. Enjoy what you're doing and learn the process. So you can get the fullest fulfillment and enjoyment out of the product. All right, so we're gonna do one more dip. Three dips is always recommended. Three dips is the strongest and it's gonna give you the best color um, results in the ends. And let me just reiterate, it's gonna get, make the powder the strongest um, for it to last for two to three weeks or longer if you can go longer. I think the longest I've gone was about four weeks roughly, give or take. So on the third layer, you're going to do the same as the second, full cover on the nail, but stopping a hairline before the cuticle. So a hairline before the cuticle. Now we're going to go ahead and go in. This is our third and final dip. Third and final dip. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead, go on to the next finger. This finger is a little wider, so it requires an extra dip of liquid. 
I'm doing the fan method nice and slow so I get that perfect cuticle line. So as you guys can see, I'm really taking my time and overall, it does not take long to do your nails. It's a very quick process at the end when you're wearing it for two to three weeks and just saving money and time from the salon when you can just do it right at home, do it after dinner, before you go to work, whenever. Whatever is easy, convenient time. I don't know about you ladies, but I am all about convenience. Okay, so we got one more dip. Again, wiping excess powder off in between each dip. And the reason we do this is to keep the brush nice and clean. Any buildup over time will contaminate your liquid, which is not something that any of us want to do. All right, third and final dip. See how easy that was? So easy. Okay, so again, I'm wearing Froze all day. We're gonna go ahead, wipe the excess powder off one last time. I'm gonna wipe it off my mat here. Now we're gonna go in for our number two, our set. Your number two is your curing agent for both your one and your three. So anytime it comes in contact with either one of those liquids, it's going to cure it and solidify it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now um, for the first part of our dip. You can go a little bit heavier on this round just to make sure it adheres and adheres, if I could talk, and stays for a long time so you get that long wear that you're looking for. You want to make sure that you get your tips and really seal those in. So now we're going to go ahead and wait for about a minute or so. We're going to clean up our shape a little bit and we're going to buff and file these down so they look nice and smooth like these. But as you can see, they are pretty smooth. A lot of that has to do, well everything has to do with it having me mixing the powder for it to be loose and doing thin layers of liquid. Also the way I dip, if you notice I dip like this at an angle. If you dip flat like this, you run risk of pushing the liquid off your nail bed causing goopiness on the side. So always dip at the same angle that I just did here. So we're gonna wait another minute. In the end, they're gonna be nice and shiny like this hand over here. I'm really hoping you guys can see this. I have no idea what angle I'm working with right now. All right. So it's been about a minute or so. I don't have a timer. I'm just taking a wild guess here. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my file and I'm gonna um, correct my shape here from the powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the desk as my guidance set my finger at the edge there. Taking my time, making sure the shape is exactly how I want because I don't want to spend time going back later to fix it. I want it to be perfect right off the bat. I like to go in the side walls just to make sure they're nice and even. just really take my time. There we go. So now we're going to go to the next finger. I'm hoping you can see this. Just really taking my time. So it's never a race to get it done. I know we're always in a hurry to do things so we can move on to whatever else is going on in our lives, but we all deserve quiet time. We all deserve to be pampered, and that's really what this is about, ladies, is just doing something that you enjoy. 
we gotta enjoy ourselves, you know? The world's so busy, we gotta slow down and just take time. All right, so now we're going to the thumb. Getting in the side wall first and fixing my shape. I am doing a round shape. This is only my second time, no, third time doing it, so I'm still practicing getting it perfect. Um, before I was doing a square or scoville type shape and now I changed it just to have something new going on. So let me fix this one. And I think that's pretty good here. This is really the time like if you want to make any shape corrections this is really the time to do it. Because you can see really nicely when the product's on um, the outline of your nail a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so in your kit, again, it comes with the buffer. You can 100% use the buffer. And, like, really, the job is very minimal of what you have to do if you get a nice thin even dip. But for the ladies who wanna see the drill, I'll go ahead and do the drill and then I'll do the buffer again just to show you guys for fun. But with the drill, I use the metal bit so it doesn't hurt my skin if I go off. It's not gonna nick my cuticles. Everything's gonna stay nice and clean and in shape like I prefer. So if you get carpal tunnel or arthritis or whatever in your hand like I do, the drill is really beneficial um, because your, your fingers won't lock up like with the buffer. So just taking my time, it's all about time. I can't honestly say that enough. Enjoy your quiet time. Do it with a girlfriend. Drink some wine. Whatever you prefer. Watch Netflix. Well, listen to Netflix. Watch your nails. I like the one thing that's good about the drill is you can really get around your cuticle line so if you did go too far up it's a good chance to fix it just got to be careful not to tear your skin up while you're doing it so I usually just start at the main part of the nail doing one side and then going over to the other side because angles are hard you know you got to work a little bit at a time with your nails here Three fingers down, two more to go. I love the fanning of the brush for the cuticle line. It really helps to get that perfect seamless look without like trying to get all fancy and you know painting the brush in that half moon shape it really is like a good little trick honestly which nobody talks about like I had to figure that one out on my own and I'm like why does nobody like teach people that
So the thumb is the hardest just because of the angle, but it's still perfect. All right, so that's it. Really qu quick and easy. I still like to take the buffer and I'm just gonna show anybody who doesn't have a drill, you get the same look, nice and thin. So you just gotta be careful not to go all the way up on that cuticle because the buffer is abrasive. You don't wanna nick it up and have any cuts. Cuticle care is really important for healthy nails. You wanna take care of them after every peppy cure, when I'm completely finished, I actually go and do like a salt or sugar scrub on my hands to remove any like product I may have gotten on my skin or the dryness from the acetone from removal. I go ahead and scrub all of that off and give my nails a nice little facelift. And um, then I put Vaseline on afterwards. It really rejuvenates the entire hand and the cuticles, or I use my favorite coconut oil from Coco and Company. So this is the time you would really check, make sure everything looks exactly how you want it. Um, I'm pretty happy overall, but my pointer is a little bit off shape. So let me go ahead and just run that around a little bit. There we go. And it doesn't take much. These these files do a lot. We have the files on the website as well. There we go. It's exactly how I want. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure we wipe off the excess debris from the nail bed and get it out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and apply our set number two one more time. This time we are not going to drench the nails. We're gonna do just enough to cover the nails so it does its job, but we're not gonna over drench the nails. It's very important. If you put it on too heavy at this stage, um, it's not gonna absorb all the way into the nail, um, causing adverse effects on your number three bottle. So just enough to cover the nail, but not drench it. You always want to make sure you get your tips, as you see me doing here, to seal in the product. And you're going to do that with your number three, which is going to be your final stage of sealing and making sure it stays secure. So we are going to wait two minutes at this stage for number two to absorb into the nail product. We need it to absorb fully in. Um, just enough so there's only a little bit of curing left in the number two to cure the number three properly. So we're going to go ahead and wait. We recommend two minutes waiting at this stage just to be safe and make sure it's like thoroughly going in. And I see a little flaw here so it's a good time to fix that. There we go. The round shape is a little bit more challenging, not very hard, but just a little more concentration to get the even round all the way across. So it's been about 30 seconds or so, but I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe the nails of any number two residue. Very important. I'm still gonna wait for the number two to absorb before we move on to the number three. So we are getting close to done after we do the number three. My nails will be dry in two minutes and we'll be good to go about for two, three, four weeks, however long I need to go. So give it another few more seconds. And this is the whole process, ladies, um, from start to finish. Taking my time. 
and really enjoying what I'm doing and so on and really being happy with my peppy here and you know I want it to stay on this time I think I'm actually gonna have it on for about three weeks so you guys will see nail nail care proper prep like all this stuff the way you apply it's all very important and coincide together and how long the nail is gonna last um, especially your prep if your prep isn't there your nails are not gonna stay on for two to three weeks all right so I'm gonna have a paper towel here and now we're gonna work with our number three our shine I'm going to apply thin even layers and wipe the brush on the paper towel. Each nail I do is two to three quick strokes on the first round of number three. Quick strokes. If you let your brush sit on the nail for too long, you're allowing that number two to enter the territory of your brush and your number three bottle that you don't want it to enter. The other thing I'm doing, if you're noticing or not, is I'm wiping on a different spot of the paper towel every time before I dip back into the bottle. Again, this is eliminating that number two residue. I'm immediately gonna go back in and do my second round of number three. Here you can choose if you want to continue to wipe your brush for extra precaution or you can do as I'm doing. If you do all the other steps, you're good to go. It's not a big deal. Also notice that I am sealing my edges or capping the edges of the nail. This is gonna keep the product from lifting at the edge. If you use your nails as tools or just rough in general, very active, this is going to help protect them. And that's it, ladies. This is a full Peppy Cure tutorial. In two minutes exactly, these nails will be dry and I'll be able to touch them. So we're going to hang out here until they're dry because I want to show you that. So I do want to reiterate, when you wipe your number three brush, a different spot on the paper towel every single time. Two to three quick strokes. Very important. Do not allow too much brush to nail contact. You're allowing that number two residue to come through. So if you follow all the steps in this video to the T, your product will last until it runs out. So these are almost dry. Give it another minute. I tend to get impatient even over two minutes um, before I touch them. So we're almost there. We will be posting more videos just in case if anybody finds this before I put the word out there. We will be posting more videos, but this group is specifically just for tutorials and nothing else. We're not showing off anything or doing anything special. It's just tutorial videos, that's it. So I'll give it another 20 seconds or so, and these should be dry. And that's it. I think this is my fourth video today because I did Instagram videos, so. I think I am nailed out for one day. <laughs> At least doing nails. You know I love my peppy. Alright, so we are dry. Completely dry. And that's it ladies. Follow all those steps. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about application, please email peppygel at gmail.com. Um, any products that I use that are not peppy related, I will post them in the title of the video, in the title of the video. So make sure you guys look there if you have any questions about anything specific that I used. All right, thanks. Oops. I can't see to even end this video.